Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We created an ecological disaster. So you're watching a little clip from the trailer of the brand new Jurassic Park movie. It's called Jurassic World Dominion. It's set to hit theaters June 10th. It stars Chris Pratt, and Bryce Dallas Howard. However, today the dinosaur so dinosaurs are the stars because it's National Dinosaur Day. Joining us now right here on the Ford, Dr. Ashley Pouse, paleontologist from the San Diego Natural History Museum. First of all, I guess happy National Dinosaur Day. This is a big deal in your it's world. It's a big, big holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for giving up your holiday to come in here <laughs> for us. Of course, my pleasure. Okay, so tell us, uh, paleontologist, is it like what we see in the movies? Maybe not that movie, but <laughs> in the movies? I mean, there's a lot less running and screaming, but there, but there is, uh, there's a fair amount of the, the stuff you see in the beginning of some of the films where they're out actually doing the, uh, the digs. Um, we do spend some time out in the field, but also we spend a lot of time uh, analyzing specimens in the museum. So you have a couple of things right here in front of us. And let's just start with this, because if you asked me, I would say, okay, we have a log. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How do you know what these things are? So a, a big piece like this is hard to put into the body of an animal, but that's actually the single uh, toe bone of a big hadrosaur, what people might call a duckbell dinosaur. So that's why I only bought a few little things, because much more of that wouldn't, wouldn't fit in, in our studio. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what's next to it? So, here. Ah, so this is one of the stars of the franchise. This is a tooth, one tooth from Tyrannosaurus rex. Uh, a, a former professor of mine used to say they had a mouthful of lethal bananas. Um, <laughs> and next to it is actually, I'm a, I will, I'll work a lot on mammals at the San Diego Natural History Museum because yeah. California is actually pretty young. And so the record of dinosaurs is small, but we have here one single tooth from a sperm whale. That's a very small tooth from a sperm whale, which rivals uh, the other giant predators. I was going to say teeth whitening and a good dental yeah, hygiene. A bit, not, yeah. not a big priority, <laughs> I can tell. Okay, that looks like that would be maybe part of a, some sort of claw? Yeah, so this is one of the killing claws um, of the foot of what in the movie is often called Velociraptor, but it's a North American animal called um, Deinonychus. So th this is the, the raptors Deinonychus. from the film. Oh, interesting. Okay, what else do you have on the floor? Ah, so my favorite thing I want to make sure we, we get to show people is this weird little lump, which is actually a bit of armor from the back of our San Diego dinosaur. So we don't have a lot of dinosaurs in California, but San Diego has one of the best preserved ones. It's the entire back half of a dinosaur that washed out to sea, sank to the bottom, and became a reef for weird Mesozoic dinosaur era life forms like corals and ammonites. So this is one bit of armor of Aleta Pelta, our native San Diego dinosaur. And did you find these fossils here in San Diego? So this fossil was found in San Diego by Point Loma, and it was actually quarried out 20 years ago. So it's a little bit of an anniversary. For no us kidding. Now. Okay, last but not least, what, what are these things? Ah, uh, so here's some not dinosaurs that that San Diego, San Diego has to offer. Okay. So we have this, which is uh, the giant shark megalodon, which went extinct a couple million years ago, but it's much younger than the dinosaurs. Um, not quite as big as the mosasaur that you'll see in the film. Uh, and then this monster is an early mammal that took over after the dinosaurs went out. Okay, so th th this is all fascinating to me, and I know we only have a couple more seconds here, but I do want to ask you this. When we watch movies, like for instance, Jurassic World that's about to come out, uh, there's always this curiosity, like could we ever by mistake mm. recreate something like this, even on very, very minute scale? Is that ever possible? So I think that doing it accidentally, we're safe. Okay. Um, <laughs> in the future with genetic engineering, if we decided to make a dinosaur, I'm not sure it would be like the dinosaurs of yore, sure. um, but I think the big question for me is whether we could safely uh, interact with them. In real life, they'd be animals, and so would we be able to preserve and make space for them like we do or need to for our animals today? Wow, this is so interesting. Really quick, as we have about 10 seconds here, what are some of the dinosaurs that are found in Southern California? You mentioned the one. Anything else? Uh, uh huh. Um, we also have other hadrosaur dinosaurs, like the big toe here. Our, we now have a recently named state dinosaur, Oxynolophus, um, which is from so, sort of the central part of the state. Uh, and we do have some flying pterosaurs, which if I could find anything, which is not a dinosaur, but they're very closely related, the giant leathery winged monsters. I'd love to find one of those someday down here in San Diego. That's your goal. Got it. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ashley Pouch in the San Diego Natural History Museum. Thanks for coming in. This is a cool show and tell. Happy National Dinosaur Day.